Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. This is a place where you get the best of both worlds, folks. A dealership that carries more makes and models of boats than anyone else in East Tennessee. But it's still run like a small family business. Drop by and chat with the team. Chat with the owners themselves. They're in there. Madisonville Marine, Highway 411 North in Madisonville. There is no better place to buy a boat. All right, as I mentioned in the last segment, VFL Isaiah Victor dropped by a couple of weeks ago, talked about the Oros Plovsic deal, and we, we, we specifically talked about his experience because he had to sit a year, and I thought it was pretty, pretty good what he had to say telling. We didn't get a chance to jump on the NCAA very much. I know you wanted to a couple of weeks ago talk, just barely get into it, and we didn't have time. Thoughts on the NCAA's transfer policy and the Oros Plovsic situation at Tennessee specifically? Who wants first dibs? Well, I'll, I'll jump in there and say that uh, this doesn't work. The process doesn't work. Even if you get approved, uh, like Aubrey Solomon, football Finally. player, he gets approved, uh, what, a couple of days before right. the season opener? Plovsic gets his decision, you know, in late October. Uh, I, I threw this out. This is in my idea, but I threw this out there. And somebody else said it, and I agree with it. Just have a rule that you get one transfer automatically rubber stamped. Uh, in your career, and uh, I, I just don't, they're not set up to handle this number of transfers if they're making exactly. you wait month after month after month. So exactly. I mean, what is the criteria, you know, and, and that, that's what's so frustrating to fans. And then even, even on this, you know, the current situation, Tennessee had filed an appeal and they're still saying that they haven't heard back yet. I mean, it's so contradictory in what they're doing. There needs to be some kind of timeline. And then what is the reason? What is the reason why this is not being approved? I mean, it, where's the transparency just to say what the situation is? It's, 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 it's ridiculous. Mark, you've been through it. Or, no. Well, not specifically this, but. Well, I, I'm not one that, um, you know, life has to be fair for everybody, uh, but what this is lacking is transparency and consistency. And it, it, without any transparency, you said the word, um, it's just leaving for every fan base, um, everybody to just be frustrated because they think there's some bias the situation about it um, it's unfortunate for the kid um, that transfers to be closer to home yes there's some gray area in that and how he was recruited well should he the bottom line is the kid wants to play basketball he's already set out a year um, now he's got to sit out again it's just the NCA needs to figure out, and, and if it's about the student athletes, then make it about the student athletes and let the kid play. I like the idea of one, you get one. And if you transfer a second time, then we got to look at it. But the yeah. first time, everybody gets one. I like that. Uh, but here's, let me, let me flip this on you. Gino Ariema this week complaining, just like Tennessee fans complaining about the East complaining, says there's no transparency. What is the criteria? We don't know. And I got a lot of people in my timeline telling me, you going to talk about that crybaby? because Vino Westbrook <laughs> hasn't been allowed to play at Tennessee, and he called into question whether Tennessee has cleared her or not. Or say, he, called in, he called out Philip Fulmer for just wiping, washing his hands of it and not giving her a, a pat on the back to allow her through. Uh, do we view that the same way? I don't think the fan base does. Probably not. <laughs> I, I think it's the same situation, isn't it? Any fan base, when you're looking for why did this happen, and there's no transparency, you got to blame it on somebody. So you blame it on the one person you know that's involved is the school that they left. And, and, and part of this is you, see, you keep saying, and Mark, uh, you, we've seen it, you're supposed to have the best interest of the student athlete at heart. So many times in the past when somebody transferred, you thought you were going to be sitting out a year anyway, right? Yes. I mean, so now all of a sudden it's like we're getting up in arms because you're not eligible to play right away. Well, the, the hard thing about with the, the, the comment I even made about the, the keeping the student athlete's best interest at heart, well, define that, right? I mean, because it, 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 it's skewed. We can make kids, families, AAU coaches, they make up reasons of why a kid wants to leave. The reason why the Geno thing has rubbed Tennessee fans the wrong way is because it's a shot at the program that the culture was bad. And so fan base, people took it personally. And they hate Geno. And, and Geno, <laughs> didn't have to, Geno didn't have to make that a, a, a public thing, and he did. No. And so and that's, very that, Geno. That, that's why there's the rub, and, and that's why there was an issue with Geno. Partially, I think you're right. But I would say if you gave everybody a blind ballot, should Plopsich be playing? I think most people down here would say yes. Should Westbrook be allowed to play at UConn? I think most people would go, I think it would be fewer people would say yes. Let's put it that way. I don't think most would say no. I think fewer than the Plofsich thing, simply because coming here. I mean, there were people bashing Jim Harbaugh when it looked like he wasn't letting Aubrey Solomon go. But if Gino 
says something about Fulmer. That's I, one thing I was going to say. If you don't, do, I love the rubber stamp idea. I'm yeah. in love with that. One thing I was going to say is, how about you just get the previous staff out of it? Because if you go back and look, the Arizona State AD said in December, right after Fulmer got the job here, he referred mm -hmm. to Fulmer as a pariah among ADs. Plopsich is coming from where? <laughs> Arizona State. Do you think he was really <laughs> signing off on that transfer? Maybe not. Fulmer, he wants Plopsich, but he didn't do anything to help Westbrook go to UConn. UConn upset. Get the coaches out of it. Get the ADs out of it. Uh, it that uh, ties partially yeah. into the rubber stamp, but I think that's a problem when you allow the Harbaugh's or the Fulmer's or the AD at Arizona State or the Geno RM is to be involved in it. Hey, look, it's, if you want to make it about the kid, make it about the kid. Amen. Yeah. Do you disagree with that? Uh, no. I don't I, know how you can. I, I, that, that, that's the hard part. We, <laughs> all, we all have these great ideas. Everybody has yeah. great ideas. But then to actually make them happen, like with this old giving players m money oh. of likeness and the image thing, uh, how do you do it? The, yes, the, uh, the answer often just poses hundreds of new questions that nobody thought of. Correct. <laughs> but I still like the rubber stamp idea. All right, it's good. When we come back, we'll talk Falls football, recruiting. Where are they? Who are they competing against? We'll break it all down next. Come on back. <laughs>